Before this video gets started, man, before I talk about the whole of Nissan Git versus Austin the Groom fight, I have to tell you guys about this amazing website where you can get some nice fresh kicks for the low low. That's right, man. Today I got my boy Brady right here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. Brady just woke up from his nap. Well, I just woke him up from his nap. But today we are talking about gym kicks bro gym kicks has everything you need bro they have all the essential shoes that you need they have jordan ones threes fours five sixes elevens they have all that for your liking this is the longest he's ever held one let me hold them okay 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 yeah guys gym kicks definitely has everything you guys need and want for the low low and also it comes quick okay yeah okay i feel you you want an example of some kind of shoes that they have bam right here man v hey okay stop bam okay right here man the yellow thunder jordan fours bro these are fresh brand new squeaky clean have never been worn bro and these shoes are absolutely amazing like i love the colorway i love the black and yellow colorway gives me bumble v vibes and it also has suede too so this entire shoe is made out of suede which is pretty darn sick if i do say so myself man and honestly bro these type of fours right here are the most comfortable to me because the inside is so it's like a soft plush feeling it's not it's not those fours where because i do have some fours where it's like more silk than anything the inside of the insole but this right here is majority like plush softness which is pretty darn cool inside bro you have a yellow jump man symbol right here to basically stand out in the black i'm kind of glad they didn't make the insole yellow and um the, shoe, the uh, jordan symbol black because i just feel like that would be too much yellow in the shoe which the shoe doesn't need any more yellow because it's already got enough yellow and on the bottom man we all have this yellow um this yellow patch right here with the uh black uh with the black sole on it with the white Jumpman symbol, you see the uh, legendary stars right there, bro, that all Jordans mainly have on them. Uh, well, Jordan 1s and 4s, I think, and Air Forces are the ones I know that they have on them. That's not about that, bro. I just showed you guys the type of kicks they have. Now you can just scroll through their website, bro. Scroll through their website. You can click on the category of shoes that you want. Say if you want some Jordan 1s. Okay, I'll go to Jordan 1s, get some Jordan 1s, find the Jordan 1s that I like, and then I will click on them, place an order, and they will send it to you within two weeks. They will send it to you in two weeks or less. It's nothing to it. It's a, it's real simple, real easy, and I guarantee that you guys can do it. Now, let's just scroll through some of the catalog that they have here, bro, because I guarantee you that they have some heat waiting for us. As a matter of fact, let's look through the Jordan 4 section. As you guys can see, bro, heat heat galore like you can't get better than that i mean that is so incredible y'all like definitely go hit them up by the way it's always in the first link in the description below i will never make you guys hunt for the website go to safari search for it or go to their instagram search for the instagram so you can search for their website i will never do that i will always give you the link provided in the first link in the description below but as you guys can see the real deer right here man these fours are absolutely amazing and they also have a lot of them as well which is pretty which is pretty sick in my opinion now look guys i didn't told you i didn't showed you now it's time for you to do your part gym kicks definitely has all the shoes that you need as you can see and as i told you and definitely you guys should definitely consider ordering from them because you guys know christmas man i know it's like i know like christmas we ain't got through halloween and thanksgiving first but look christmas is coming quickly so i guarantee you these shoes are going to be flying off the shelves by the time christmas hits so make sure you go ahead and place your early christmas present in right now or just for somebody's birthday because you know there's a whole bunch of birthdays at the end of the year as well so go ahead and place your order in the first link in the description below at jimkicks.ru hope you guys enjoyed this video now let's get to the Nissan gib versus austin mcbroom discussion yeti all right 
boys i just wanted to do a quick take today man just a quick little video quick little segment bro talking about the austin uh mcbroom and the gib fight bro i just wanted to do a uh, you know a little segment on it man we're gonna react to all the knockdowns of the fight we're not gonna react to the entire fight because it was like 15 minutes long and plus i'm looking on youtube now bro they don't even have the entire fight on youtube yet or even highlights so we're just gonna look at Gibbs' video, man. And we're gonna take a look at that, bro. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna see all what's going on, bro. I already looked at it, bro, but I want to give you guys my reaction. So let's get into it. Oh. Good shots by Austin. I'm just gonna good shots by Austin. Relax, relax. Very cocky Great though. Ball. Gibb doesn't yes, seem to be hurt. Yes. Very beautiful counter. Come on, come on. Beautiful come on, counter. Press. I love that. Yeah. Best combination I've ever seen from a YouTuber, bro. Body. Hands up, Gibbs. Hands up. Hands up, Gibbs. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. I love the combination. When they started off heat. Hands up. Uppercut. I like that. Austin just swing it. Ooh, wobbly legs. Wobbly legs. Amazing count. Take the body as well. Take the body. Take the body. Austin is shook. Body body body. Austin body. is shook. Yes. Good night. And that's when they ended the fight. Yeah, man. I just want to give you guys my take on this, bro. So, um, yeah, no. Nah, basically, um, Austin definitely deserved to lose. Like, <laughs> after all that trash talking he did, all the, after all that talking he did, bro. He definitely had him coming, uh, that L coming. He definitely will never overlook an opponent ever again. Here is a good, like, fight I think he should take. I think he should take, him and Temper should fight. Face Temper, because you guys know I talked about that last video. And, um, Temp got knocked out pretty bad. <laughs> So uh, definitely, I think him and Tim should go at it, bro. You know, because they both got humiliated, kind of humiliated, pretty bad. And yeah, that's my take on that. Now I know I also said I was going to react to KSI versus Pineda, but literally every time I put them on my um, put them on my uh, what you call it, Misfits Boxing says it's okay, and everybody else except the Zone. Like the zone runs it all, bro. The zone just says no. You cannot put this on your YouTube channel. But Misfits Boxing says it's okay. But look, it it is what it is, bro. I'm just gonna kind of talk about that a little bit. Swarms. He only had two weeks. I can't really say nothing about him. He only had two weeks to lose. 20 kg. Would I don't know how much that is in pounds. He had he had two. But still, I'm pretty sure 20 kg is a lot in pounds. He had, especially in two weeks. So he had to lose that in two weeks, bro. Buddy has never touched the, never put his hand in a boxing glove. He's never hit a pad before. You can tell. Um, he had, of course, it went th what three rounds. So uh, the whole fight last, the whole fight lasted two rounds, but it went up to three rounds, bro. He was heavy breathing in the first round, so his conditioning was horrible. Um, and honestly, bro, I ain't gonna get, I ain't gonna, you can't get Swarms no hate, man. He saved the event two weeks on short notice, bro. Swarms honestly saved that event because Alex Posavi decided to bag out. Now, Pineda, bro, Pineda had no reason not to give KSI a fight, bro, because homie is a professional boxer. He's two and five. His record is horrible, but still a professional boxer nonetheless. He's got two, seven, um, seven professional fights under his belt bro so he should know what to do and dude he was whining way too much but he was crying every time ksi hit him here back of the head back of the head he'd be the back of the head and stuff like that bro and yeah now nah, pineda is just a just a walking walking pine he's just a walking traffic cone honestly dude's a walk dude pineda is honestly just a walking traffic cone like Bro, I could beat that dude with one hand tied behind my back. It wouldn't be any, it wouldn't, dude, I wouldn't even want, I wouldn't even want to record it, bro, because it's just so humiliating, dog. I'm like, man, you know what? Here's footage, bro. You could trash it if you want. I ain't even gonna do it to you. But nah, bro, Pineda, bro, definitely an embarrassment to professional boxers, bro, because how can you call yourself a professional boxer if you are complaining that much? But I can't give too much hate to Pineda because, like I said, he's a, there's a there's a language barrier there, and um, 
you know what I'm saying? He didn't know, he don't know anybody. So he didn't know anybody. He didn't know who KSI was. He didn't know who Swarms was. He didn't know who anybody was at that event. Bro was coming in blind. But uh, I feel, you know, I, I like Pineda though. Although I just dissed him a whole lot there. I do like him though, man. He seems like a, seems like an incorrigible guy. He seems, uh, he seems upbeat and stuff like that, but just, yeah, just that that performance, bro. Just just left a bad taste in my mouth, bro. But look, man, Pineda, I know he replies and sees a lot of videos and stuff about him online. Look, bro, if you're looking at this, bro, don't take it personal. You probably don't even know what I'm saying, but don't take it personal because all I'm saying is that he got whooped and embarrassed on <laughs> two weeks notice. Or however long you had noticed. But yeah, bro, that's my take on the fights, bro. Now, I didn't really talk about Austin and Gim. I'll talk about them a little bit. Uh, I'm at six minutes. I'll talk about them a little bit. I'm just rambling. So, um, I want to say one thing about Austin. Um, bro does not have a jaw. Like, have y'all noticed that Austin does not have a jawline? Like, he doesn't have this going down, bro. He just, like, straight up neck and chin. Like, Buddy has no jawline <laughs> whatsoever. That's probably how he gets knocked out so easy because bro just ain't got no kind of like support right here. So you hit that right there, bro. Of course it's gonna hurt, bro. Cause you ain't got no jawline, man. Look, bro, it's it's crazy though, man. But yeah, Gib definitely has been training for this, bro. I was looking at the whole fight, bro. Gib did not slow down one bit. And I said this before I uh I record I said this on my Instagram story, bro. Um, Gib has the best stamina, conditioning, training in boxing, in influencer boxing. I mean, he has the best stamina and uh, endurance and stuff like that because homeboy does not slow down. I have not, I didn't see him take one heavy breath. I'm telling you, as far as conditioning and um, endurance and stuff like that. I put him way above Jake Paul. I put him way above KSI, bro. I put him way above those people, man, because his stamina is just off the charts, bro. And um, his trainer, Leon, bro, very good trainer, bro. Leon is probably one of the, you, if you probably, he's probably one of the best trainers and influencers in boxing, if not the best, because all of his fighters has, have literally won. Uh, Gib, KSI, Deji, Vidal, like all of his the people he's trained has won bro so apparently no you know he's doing something right bro might as well take a few of his classes online but still though man all right I'm, I'm done rambling bro i'm done rambling it's been eight minutes man hope you guys enjoyed the video this is my little take on the whole uh fight scene going on let me know if you guys want me to react to some anderson silva and some uh the jake paul fight coming up next month like i think it's october 29th bro i definitely react to that don't really like Jake Paul, but I got to say, if he does win this fight, I got to give him half credibility because Anderson Silva is the real deal, but he's old enough to be Jake Paul's dad. So that's why I give him half credibility. But if he loses, he loses half credibility as well because like, okay, this dude's a real deal and stuff like that. But, you know, you still got those other windows he had built. But still, though, I don't like Jake Paul for real. I'll catch y'all on the next one, and I'm out. Yeti.